Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In your reincarnation, let's unlock my fourth dark memory character. Uh, the first was Griff. Uh, I did that about 110 days into the game. Uh, second was Lars. I did that about 160 days into the game. Uh, third was Lavania. That was 210 days into the game. And then fourth here uh, will be Leon. And then this is about 290 days into the game. And there was kind of a, a longer gap uh, in between Lavania and Leon uh, because I was more focusing on uh, weapons, uh, taking as many or all the ones that I wanted to to stage 8 uh, to get them into really a usable state. Although now having so many of the Dark Memory weapons at stage 8, I'm no longer satisfied with that, so I want to take them all to stage 11. And then uh, you can see here that I'm uh, checking the uh, multipliers of the skills. Uh, when you take a Dark Memory weapon to stage 8, it becomes really good as a uh, sub-weapon. Uh, you can get like the, uh, the cooldown, speed up, and then also uh, kind of the max uh, passive abilities as well. But you take it from stage 8 to stage 11, you get more hits on the uh, weapon skills, the active skills, and then also better multipliers. And I think I might want to uh, do a video where I kind of uh, collect all that information, talk about the differences between stage 8 and 11. All right, but we took the staff to uh, stage 11. And then now the uh, revive at stage 8, uh, if it revives a character, they'll come back with uh, max 20% HP about. Uh, but at stage 11, it will give you 50% HP back, which is kind of a big difference, so... Yeah, that's a good uh, reason to take it to max. Uh, but let's fight the uh, the boss of Leon. And I think it's becoming uh, kind of more and more known that I'm a big fan of Leon. And people might be wondering why. Uh, I didn't start that way. He just kind of uh, wore me down over time. <laughs> uh, but when the game was released, I liked uh, Akeha the most. And then I saw Leon as like... Kind of more like a curiosity, it's like, oh, it's a guy, you know? And then I kept pulling him, and it sort of became sort of a joke. Uh, but then uh, with... But then I had the uh, the summer version, which I enjoyed using very much, which is a, a good attacker. And then the uh, Blackhorn weapons came out and really kind of upgraded him. And then um, probably the uh, the duo, the story duo that I see the most... Uh, fan art of on Japanese Twitter is Leon and Demas. Uh, they're really popular. And uh, a lot of it is uh, hilariously homoerotic too. <laughs> uh, but also, I kind of like uh, like Boy King characters. Uh, like uh, one of my favorite uh, NPCs in Final Fantasy XII is Larsa. I think is really cool. I think it's cool when like a, uh, a young character is kind of like thrust into a position of power and then they like step up and they do a good job. That's really cool to see. With Leon here, spoiler alert, but uh, his uh, disease gets in the way of him kind of uh, recognizing his potential, which is very tragic, but yeah, adds to his story. And then I like the uh, kind of the relationship between him and Demas because they sort of rely on each other in different ways. Uh, if you compare it to like uh, Geppetto and uh, Pinocchio, like the ages are reversed. Uh, Leon, he looks younger at least, and then Demas looks older. But then it's kind of more like, uh, like uh, Dorothy and the Tin Man or uh, John Connor and the Terminator, <laughs> where it's the younger person uh, that is the human, and then you have the, uh, the older looking person uh, kind of trying to learn how to be a human. And so learning from that younger person. And that's a cool, uh, that's a cool relationship, I think. All right, but we have the Dark Memory Leon unlocked here. Uh, character skill is a uh, AoE, 200% hit uh, damage, plus a uh, regen for 3 turns, 10% HP. Uh, for tower, that's going to be fun to uh, use him instead of F66X, who I've been using on all the towers, uh, as my uh, healer. So that'll be fun. 
but also for Arena, I think he will be interesting. And I did try him out, uh, kind of in a manual play team, uh, using the uh, Revive uh, staff. Uh, the single character skill, uh, the single weapon skill of that staff is very powerful. Can one punch a lot of guys. And then with revive, I can bring back uh, like either a tank or a Demas uh, with that with 50% HP back. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to wait to give him books. I think he's really good, even just at uh, level 70 with the uh, stats. Uh, he's kind of similar to a lot of other uh, kind of tanky characters, uh, even at uh, when they're at level 90, his stats are kind of there at level 70. And then I have Leon so uh, slabbed up uh, that kind of doesn't matter anyway. And then I'm also waiting to pull White Mage Leon from Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, if I get him, I will give him all of the uh, books to take him to level 90. And then part of the reason for that is because he also has a hit all uh, AoE skill for 200% damage. Uh, but it's a C-type, so it will uh, charge up much more quickly uh, than uh, Dark Memory Leon here. So he'll be probably more viable for Arena. Uh, so yeah, White Mage Leon, he's a greater uh, priority for me than Dark Memory Leon. Uh, but still very happy to have him. And then um, hmm, maybe I'll uh, make a video about using him in Arena on a uh, manual play team. Okay, that just leaves uh, who I'm going to go for now, and I'm kind of debating what to do. Uh, I could uh, take Akeha's Greatsword to stage 11. That will give me extra damage on that big AoE attack, uh, which would be really helpful for Arena. But don't really have any interest in using the character itself, because I'm very happy with Summer Akeha. Uh, Noel would be really interesting, Dark Memory Noel. Because uh, I want a tanky spear user, especially to use with that uh, Blackhorn Spear with the uh, Provoke. Uh, I guess Demas, Dark Memory Demas would be fun to have, but yeah, I don't know. Got some uh, thinking to do about what uh, Dark Memory character to go for next. Okay, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.